Hello everyone, welcome to Paymon Tech Media. In this video you are going to learn about hexadecimal system. And now when we hear hexadecimal, what this prefix of hexa means. We can think of hexagon where we have six sides. So hexa means six. And as we know already, the word decimal corresponds to 10. So six plus 10 equals 16. So hexadecimal number system is a base 16 system. So there are 16 symbols in hexadecimal system, which they are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, and F. So that's a total of 16 numbers including 0. To keep the single digit symbol, we see the use of alphabet letter A to F. The letter A corresponds to 10, B 11, C 12, D 13, E 14, and F 15 in decimal numbering system. And here as well, we can see similar place values for hexadecimal number system as we saw earlier for other number systems. But instead of these place values being in powers of 10, 2 or 8, they are going to be in powers of 16 because hexadecimal is base 16 system. So let's create these places for the hexadecimal. So here this is place value position 0, base is 16 in hexadecimal, right? 16 to the power of 0, it's 1. Any number to the power of 0, it's 1. Then we can move one place to the left. This is place value position 1. 16 to the power of 1 is 16. And if we continue one more place to the left, this is place value position 2. 16 to the power of 2, which is 256. And this is place value position at 3. 16 to the power of 3, 4096. So in hexadecimal, as we can see here, every time when we go to the left, we are multiplying it by 16 to get the next place value. And again, why 16? Because hexadecimal is base 16 system. Now let's take a look at one hexadecimal number. Let's say 1A7. And by the way, sometimes in hexadecimal number systems, we might see 0x in front of hexadecimal number system. It's basically telling us the following number is hexadecimal. For example, if we have a hexadecimal of 2, 3, we don't know if this is a decimal or hexadecimal. Therefore, by putting 0x, 2, 3, we know this is hexadecimal number, not a decimal. And as you noticed, I said 2, 3 because this is not the same as 23 decimal. Now let's take a look at one hexadecimal number. Let's say 1A7, which is equivalent of 423 in decimal number system. Let's see how. So here we have 1A7. Well, we can apply the same formula of the place values as we did earlier for the decimal binary octonumber system. This means that we have 1 times 256 plus A times 16 plus 7 times 1. So 1 times 256 is 256 plus a times 16, what is A? So here, as we can see, A is 10, right? So let's write 10 here times 16, which gives us 160 plus 7 times 1 is 7. And it gives us 423 in decimal number system. Now let's see it in calculator. So we want to make sure the standard view is the programmer view and we want to make sure hex is selected and you probably noticed here we have also A, B, C, D, E, F available as well. Okay, let's put 1, A, 7. 
and here we can see the decimal value of 423 as we can see here now when do we use hexadecimal number system it is used in IP version 6, MAC addresses, or even in web development when we work with HTML or CSS. So as you can see here, as the value of the base goes up, we can have a larger number with less digits. Well, this was a quick overview of hexadecimal system. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. And in other videos, we are going to talk about how we can convert from one number system to another number system. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much. Have a good day.